going on everybody back at you with another video and in this video i'm going to be talking about if you're feeling lonely how to overcome that feeling and understand that alone time is actually good if you make it productive And I'll start off by saying that, you know, sometimes everybody has periods of their life where they're lonely. And it's not a bad thing. You're not weird, you know, unless you have to work on social anxiety, that's a different story. But if you're just a regular person and sometimes you realize that you're feeling lonely, it's okay. Because especially during this time that I'm recording this video, there's a coronavirus pandemic, which is causing people to not be social because you know it can be harmful if you're you know meeting up with a large group of people you can literally get a disease that could potentially kill you or a loved one around you so <clears throat> understand that feeling lonely is not a bad thing okay don't feel bad for yourself don't feel like a victim anything like that you have to also realize that a lot of people that surround themselves with a lot of people end up having a lot of fake people around them a lot of people that do them dirty so having a small circle that you can trust or feel comfortable around is oftentimes better than a big circle that's fake and just for you know trying to look cool that you know a lot of people you know so that's overrated for sure so being okay with by yourself is something you need to work on and practice and some tips that i use is do some activities that require just yourself for example riding a bike um, going to the driving range um, playing basketball like these things I do when I'm alone and I'm bored I guess and I'm just alone at my house or listen to music watch a movie anything like that or go on a run go on a walk go to a new spot in nature those things fulfill you and they make you like feel happy from being alone because you're just preoccupying yourself with yourself, you know, and you don't always need five people with you all the time with everything that you're doing. You know, even, it's not even the worst thing to go to a restaurant, get a nice meal by yourself, you know? A lot of people are scared to do that, but you can, you know, it's not a big deal. Or even going to the movies by yourself. People make it seem so weird or they feel awkward about it, but in reality, it's not that bad. And you have to also understand that alone time is giving you an opportunity to better yourself and reflect, read a book, watch videos on developing yourself or work out. These things are important and you have to be alone to develop yourself. You can't be surrounded by 10 people and develop yourself. You know, you have to sometimes sit with your thoughts, be on an own journey, challenge yourself individually, show yourself what you're made of by yourself, you know? You can't be codependent in these days because other people will just mess up met your happiness and just you can't rely on other people you know it's just plain and simple it's better to like understand that you can rely on yourself it's a better peace of mind you know obviously you can have family and close friends that maybe you can rely on but the point is you have to be able to rely on yourself for certain things so picking up a hobby is also a really good like drawing creating music anything like that so maybe try and find something you can do by yourself as a practical advice to conquer loneliness, you know? Be like, you know, I have alone time to learn a new language, draw some paintings or create some music, anything like that, you know? Find activities or hobbies you can do by yourself with your alone time. And I also personally like listening to podcasts, you know, that are two, three hours long. Um, some ones that I like are the Joe Rogan uh, podcast. Um, I actually listen to the Caller Daddy podcast to, feel, to listen to a female's perspective on life. It's pretty funny. Um, and the Medium Rare podcast, uh, these guys from Toronto that make that. So podcasts are a really good way to just feel like, you know, you're talking to people or listening to people or have a conversation going and you can have it in the background as you draw or 
manifest things, meditate, whatever you want to do. But the point is, podcasts are really good if you're spending time alone. And another big point about people that feel lonely, sometimes they end up not being able to say no when people ask them to hang out or do things all the time. And then they feel like they're always doing things for other people and with other people and they never have alone time. You know, people are scared of the alone time, so they're afraid to say no. But saying no to certain things is very powerful, you know. Maybe I wake up one day, I don't really feel like going outside the house. I feel like relaxing, you know, or maybe just watching a movie instead of going out. And my friends are like, hey, let's go to the beach today. It sounds nice and fun, but sometimes you're just not in the mood to go out and do like a whole thing. And, you know, and that's okay. And you have to be able to say no and not feel bad about it. And someone shouldn't make you feel bad for saying no. You know, or, oh, let's go to the bar tonight or this weekend. Man, I don't feel like it this weekend. Say no. Relax by yourself, take care of yourself, you know? You don't always have to be around people to feel successful, you know? The fear of missing out is stupid, you know? You're not missing out on anything. Everything people post on social media is fabricated fun. It's not really fun, excuse me. (laughs) But that's true, you know? People only post the highlights, they make you feel like, oh shit, I'm not having as much fun as them. But in reality, they don't tell you the bullshit that goes on behind the scenes. For example, when people go out and they show videos of them turning up in the club, they don't show the videos of them throwing up or dealing with their friend or dealing with a police incident after, which oftentimes happens. So don't get annoyed about the fear of missing out because it's overrated and people, they just fabricate shit to make themselves feel better. But you have to be able to say no to people sometimes when you don't feel like doing things. And I'm not saying say no all the time and just be a homebody because that's not good either. But to be able to have that skill to say no is very important. And then, you know, saying yes to life for certain situations is better to put you outside your comfort zone. But people, they do it too much. And then they wonder why they're always in, you know, certain situations. They never feel grounded. They never feel relaxed because they're always constantly doing something. You have to have periods of time where you're relaxed meditating just chilling out let your body and your mind relax you know you can't constantly stimulate that stuff so being alone helps with that so i'll leave off by saying it's okay to be alone don't worry about it find productive things you can do by yourself pick up a hobby grow as a person during these times and realize that it's temporary you know your life situation always changes Um, Other than the pandemic that we're currently in, joining a sports team is really beneficial because you're surrounded by a team. You get to meet a lot of people and be social, so that's a good thing to use. Um, But yeah, just, you know, try to keep yourself busy during alone times. Listen to podcasts, listen to music, pick up a hobby. Don't feel bad about being lonely. Don't worry about fear of missing out because it's all fabricated fun. And be able to say no sometimes, right? So that's my video on loneliness hopefully it helps one of you out there um, because that's my goal with these videos and i really appreciate it for everybody that has subscribed recently i hit a certain milestone which makes me feel happy in the beginning journey and i hope to help you guys in the future and continue making these videos give me a thumbs up it helps a lot for the channel to get more exposed share my channel or my videos if they impact you so i can impact others until next video Peace out.